Lonzo Ball is an interesting defensive prospect with some clear deficiencies but also some underrated strengths. Let's take a closer look. Ball is very vulnerable to changes of direction due to his upright stance and the fact that he skips rather than slides his feet. This doesn't bode well for him as it pertains to being an on-ball defender at the point guard position, especially at his size. This can certainly improve because it's more technique than anything, but he's got a ways to go. But if the ball handler doesn't change direction, he actually has a pretty quick first step. Here he does an excellent job of staying in front of Markel Fultz and forces the turnover. As a pick and roll defender, he has a tendency to lay on screens and is vulnerable to the ball handler rejecting that screen as a result. When the ball handler does use the screen, he does a great job of fighting over the top and applying back pressure. He had a couple of spectacular plays against Markel Fultz. He also has a knack for breaking up plays in transition, flashing those quick hands. As an off-ball defender, he has a great feel for jumping passing lanes. Very quick and active in ball denial as well. He's not very good on his closeout skipping to the shooter. This will be a problem on the NBA level, but it can be fixed fairly easily. He's okay when it comes to navigating off-ball screens, but he can get beat by changes of direction here too. And last but not least, he's an excellent defensive rebounder, dropping down from the perimeter and sandwiching the big, as you see right here. This is also the area where he shows off his athleticism the most. Overall, while I don't think he's cut out to defend NBA level point guards, I do think he's going to be a plus defender on the wing. He's an excellent off-ball defender and can stay with guys that don't change direction all that well. Alright folks, that'll do it for this one. Next up, Josh Jackson.